Welcome back guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing something really exciting. Something we've both been really into. We're trying the viral Mary Phillips who's just oh doesn't be <laughs> He probably she's probably put a She little probably bit does on him. Justin's makeup too, but Hailey Bieber and Kendall Jenner's makeup artist trying her makeup technique to try and look like Hailey Bieber. And basically the whole technique is that you're supposed to get like a really soft, even finish, something that me and Casey both love to try and achieve with our makeup. Let's just get into it and start putting on our faces. Oh, what are you doing? You're starting with the iconic <laughs> <laughs> I would start with my say glowy thing, but I didn't bring it. You know what I wanted to start with? Do you have anything that's like that? I do. I was going to put okay. the tool of sunscreen on. I oh, like that's, perfect. That's I what like, we need. That's what we need. Okay? I mean, we got to have a nice glowy base. Because I feel like be Mary Phillips does like a skin heavy. Like I feel like her work is like skin focused. Skin heavy. <laughs> Skin, it's heavy on the skin. I actually watched a video of Mary Phillips uses the Westman out here. Oh my god, does she? Did you not? Please, At least in the video cool. that I watched. The Mary Phillips technique is that you start your base with contour and concealer, which I feel like isn't anything crazy re revolutionary. It's I've, heard, I've heard other people do this. Yeah, and it's kind of how I feel like people used to do their makeup, and then the YouTubers came out, and then we were all doing foundation full first. Face, full face of foundation. I tried this this past weekend when I was in the mountains, and I really liked it because honestly, you just don't have to be as precise, which is kind of nice. I like it because I feel like you end up using less product. I also feel like for being like someone who's really fair, I like the technique because, you know, like all bronzing, like this looks like so dark on me, you know, so it's kind of nice that I'm gonna go in with foundation on top of it. I feel like it'll just be less harsh looking on my fair skin. Like you can diffused. kind of, yeah, you can kind of even her out a little bit more. Mary Phillips, she put some in the center of her forehead. Well, not hers technically, but on her patients. It's not called patients. <laughs> what is it called? On her clients? On her clients. She puts it in the, a little bit in the middle of the forehead, down the nose under the eyes and then she also does it underneath the contour okay wait so are we going in with the foundation on the fluffy rug that's that's what she does i'm scared oh my god you know what i need right now i need my mixing palette that misty got us oh my god i don't even know where i put mine let me put on some because i feel like mary phillips's clients don't have pores so i need to pretend like i don't have pores yeah wouldn't it be so nice I feel like Mary Phillips does a lot of diffusing and blending and somehow her makeup just ends up looking like it's not even there. Like it's just like their faces are floating mm -hmm. into the space of beautiful people. It is. I don't know if that made sense. Okay, I think we're both using the Summer Fridays, right? Yeah. Well, I did want to come up with the Armani. I got these new brushes for Christmas. <gasps> Are you going to use a that fluffy one? A la Casey. She got me these. Yeah. I'm going to use this. Okay, wait. Are we just swirling it in? I don't know. It just feels like a waste of the brush. You know, it's like not what it's it intended for. It just feels for. so wrong doing this on a freaking fluffy brush. On a fluffy brush. Now, are you going legit over your contour a little bit? A little bit, yeah. I'm just kind of doing like circular motions. What are you doing? Oh, you're tapping. Okay. Nice thing about this is the brush is so big, it's like you can use one side of the brush for one part of your face, turn it, use the other side. I feel like it really did give actually like a nice distribution of product. Like you can see this side of my face is nice. Like it blended really nice. Oh yeah, this is looking and then this good. This is like Wait. so unblended and crazy. Wait, I feel like my foundation looks like it's really, your foundation looks so good. Like it kind of like, I don't know what this is doing, but. It just makes it such like an, a light touch. Yeah. And it's like anywhere where I feel like my contour is a little bit too intense, I'm just tapping it on top and it's magic. Really like diffusing. I'm into it. I'm into it too. It actually feels like you're wearing not a lot of product. Right, because I kind of feel like the brush doesn't, it's not like you're using like this brush that would put like a lot of product in one place. This is like a light dusting, it feels like. Everywhere, yeah. Wait, what brush? Where... Oh. Can I see it? Wait, I wanna try it. Can try I it, yeah. Obviously that's Alex Earl's blush. It dries so fast. Unpopular opinion. I feel like their the rare beauty blush is hard to work with. It dries, but I I also have a theory maybe it's because I'm like a dry skin girly, you know? Like maybe on someone that's not so dry. On me, I am 
it's so dry. I'm so excited. This is the color. That's so cute. Oh wait, kind of hard to work with. Oh Maybe shit, it's kind of really green. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. When she's leaking. She's leaking. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's really pretty on you. It's really pigmented. Okay, the only thing I'm noticing with this technique so far is like I would, like I, I feel like I would do another Dada concealer on top. I think I would too, actually. Just I, for like a little brightness. Yeah, I feel like I need a little brightness. Okay, we're gonna try. Is it okay if we do? <laughs> is it okay if we just do like a little modification? Because I know like. I know. Kendall and Haley probably don't have bags, but like your girl has bags. So. I have the whole freaking store underneath these eyes. Oh yeah, okay, that's making me feel so much better. Okay, so if you're naturally beautiful like those girls, don't do the extra dot. Don't do the extra dot. I just felt in my soul, I really just needed it, you know? I'm gonna go in with the blush topper. I'm using this hourglass one. I wanna set my cream products. Can you smell that after? Mm -hmm. Wow. The way this stuff smells. It smells like a good, it smells like a good full face of makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you think that we positively associate the smell of this with like feeling pretty? Probably. Like, that's, why do I like the smell of this? That's, it kind of smells like cologne. It kind of does smell cologne -y. Oh my god, look how pale my chest is. We're gonna fix that right now. Oh my god. Speaking of something else, this smells amazing. The I fucking, know. Butter bronzer, right? No, like whatever they're formula. putting in this cannot be healthy for your endocrine system. Are you using the Rowan? I am. My Rowan, it ran out. <gasps> Don't use mine. It's so tragic. It's okay. I have like two more uses left. This really is the goat. I just love how fine. What? Is this the root tip? tip? Oh no. <laughs> tip. I love how fine the tip is, but then my head went to a dark. I also randomly picked up the Benefit Brow Gel. It's going to like a, a light crease color. Oh, uh, you know, I'll use the new Artist Couture. Couture. Couture Supreme Nudes Palette that one of my fave peeps <laughs> got me for Christmas. She may or may not be sitting right next to me. Oh my god. Wait, I also want to I'm using that. Silhouette and Stripped. Nudist and exposed would be really cute. Actually, these do run quite dark. They do? Yes. Also using my Makeup by Mario A14 fluffy brush. I am just like- yeah, your Makeup by Mario. What did I say? Makeup by Mario. Uh, I will say this palette blends like a fucking dream. Oh my God, that makes me so happy because that was my biggest concern. I'm using Bronziana, which is this one right here is what I'm using. She's using this like reddish one. Like sometimes you just need to like put a little baby wing on, you know? Let me see your baby wing. Oh, stunning. <laughs> Was it a baby wing? It's, oh, she's pretty diffuse. It's really giving baby. It's am exposed just on my top of my lid. It's a good palette for nudes. I'm gonna put a little highlight on. It's a merit stick. It smells like crap though. I love it, but I don't like the way it smells at all. I did the wing. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of silhouette under on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Ilia Nova liquid highlight because I feel like Mary Phillips, she would do a cream. I'm gonna put a little bit of this highlight on my lid just to add a little bit of glow. And then I'm also gonna put it under my brow bone because I just feel like that's what the hot bitches are doing. And you know what, I'm gonna put a little bit on my top lip. I'm using the Iconic Nude because that's the one Harley Beaver uses, supposedly. Can I try the Iconic Nude? Because yeah. they don't make the Marc Jacobs anymore. Oh my god, they don't? No, he got rid of his makeup line. I also have this High Def Honey one by Buxom. It's a little darker. I do really like that this Buxom one has a blending brush. How nice is that? Iconic. Kind of nice, right? The Iconic Nude almost looks the same exact as the... Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs is on the bottom lip and the Nunes, or an Iconic Nude is on the top Oh lip. my god, it's a dupe. It's the same as that color. It's a dupe. I know. Okay, last thing I'm doing for my lips is I'm adding the Ilia Lip Wrap. Because Haley Beaver always has like the juicy, she uses her lip peptide things, which, which people love. The only thing else that I wanted to do that Mary Phillips does is she takes like her blush color and she'll put a little bit in her like eyeshadow. I feel like that's kind of giving. Yeah, it is giving actually. Wait, so what do you think about the thing? Like, I feel like your base looks amazing. I feel like your base looks really good too. 
I will 100% do this again. I think I will too. I feel like this is the new it. I feel like this might be the new it. It looks so even. It's just like more natural, I feel like, you know? I really like adding the blush on your eyes. And I like this kind of lip. I would totally do this again. I feel like this is gonna be my new technique. I feel like for like a quick like meeting makeup too, like I would say this took us less time for sure. I feel like I spend a oh, lot yeah. of time blending my contour. And I can honestly say I spent that like was half, quick. That half was really the amount quick. of time. I love a good new makeup technique to mm -hmm. play with, you know? Absolutely. If there's anything else that you guys think that we should try out on TikTok or wherever, let us know. Leave it in the comments. See you next week. Okay, bye. Bye. We haven't done this in so long. I feel like last time we were drunk. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe we were. Okay. I just did myself a face. So the nice thing about this is I feel like, what is the nice thing about this? Okay, I don't know what's next in my stuff anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know what else is in. What else to do? I don't know what else to do. Oh, I guess my dishwasher just designed it for you've always had that ringtone. <gasps> Am I going too fast? <laughs> what? <laughs> You had moles. Me too. I was like, I've never noticed these cute little moles. <laughs> I think I got my Ooh. eyeshadow on my face. Hi, Snookums. Oh my god, are you the cutest? You don't even need any makeup. You're so cute. Oh, Rowan, you're kidding me. What? You're kidding me. He's hitting the camera. That's stunning and so thoughtful. Oh, nice. I really need to get a new. I can't, I can't. What are these things called? Eyelash color. I really need to get a new one today. Wait, but that wasn't the thought that I was gonna say. You need to get a new one today? <laughs> she needs to get one today! We work today. We don't ever film on a work day, and I just think that there's a reason why. There's a reason. I'm so frazzle dazzled. Like, you're cutting it. Does our makeup look the same as it literally always does? Kind of. Every time we're on this fucking camera, our makeup looks the same. It, it really does, I know. We, we're like one trick pony. We 